Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I modify a lathe tool that I actually bought at the Steam Rally two or three weeks ago. Um, somebody gave us a packet of tips and I found a tool that I actually go into, so I do a little bit modifying that. And I also finish off the little Honda crankcase, the two stroke crankcase. I weld it up, did some thread repairs on, actually get the the final part of that so I can pick up the last hole and I get that finished off as well. I mentioned on Wednesday that I'd been sent a model gas turbine or a model jet engine kit, uh, like a working model, like a scale model made out of metal. Uh, Deborah has been slowly or patiently assembling that and I'm actually doing a review video. Uh, it really is a good bit of kit. I'm not going to show the actual video because it's not finished yet but I may show on a little, two little clips of Deb actually working on it. I mentioned last week that that steam boiler uh, I bought is no good, it's turned into a patio heater. I've decided to build my own. Um, I'm not going to sort of build it to show publicly. I'm just going to have a boiler that I can run in the garden for my own personal use. I have managed to get a bit of decent steel tubing, uh, seamless, solid drawn steel tube. It's actually got paper work with it as well. It's about 8 inch diameter, a couple of foot long. That'll make a really good boiler shell. I'm going to do all the fab work, the tube plates and everything, and I'm going to get it welded in. I know that it's coated welder, he'll do all the welding on it, you do a player welders on steam boilers, it's as simple as that, it's got to be done properly. Some time ago I got this box of tool tips given, I often get them given from sort of retired engineers, I find them at car boot sales, it's surprising where they do turn up. Trouble is, I didn't have a whole lot for them, which is a shame because they're a nice tip. We've got three corners. Come out, three corners. But you can also turn it over so you get six bites of the cherry per tip. I don't know what I designed for cutting, um, as far as I'm concerned. If I get a tip that works, I just use it. I was at the steam rally at Brunton and I found this tool holder and straight away I recognised that tip as being one of them. I got that for three quid, you know three pounds it's for nothing and it definitely is the right holder for the right tips are exactly the same. Trouble with it is it doesn't fit into my tool holders it's too high so instead of machining the tool holder I'm just going to take a bit off the top of there not the bottom off the top uh, it's better to take off the top for me to get the height so that's what we're going to do. This will be hard. I'm just going to machine it hard. I'm not going to try and soften it. So we'll put it in the mill machine, get a carbide cutter on and see how much we can take off it. If I simply measure that gap, set a zero, then measure that. I need 3.18 mil. So I take 4 mil off it and it'll go into there. No problem at all. I'm going to put it in the other way around. And then it'll be easier for me to video it being machined. If I could find a bastard vice key. I should tie it on a rubber band so it stops with a bloody machine. I've just had it. Right. And put it that way around. Then it means the camera I can look at that end. That's a solid carbide cutter that's in there. It's not a particularly good one. It's damaged, but it'll certainly do the job. We'll touch it off, set a zero on the DRU, and then one four mil taken off there. We'll put some feed on. I put one mil on. See what happens. It should take one mil, all right. Right, I'm going to put some water on it, put some coolant on it, put a power feed on as well.
Right, taking one and a half mil this time, it's actually cutting better. Plenty of cooling, that's keeping that tool alive. And this stuff is pretty tough as well, it's not just mild steel. Just the end to clean up now. Let's put a really nice finish on. We'll just de rag the edges and then we'll give it a try. I've got a job for it to do straight away. Definitely is, you can hear how hard that is. The file's barely marking it. Take the sharp edges off, that's all. Yep, bit of proper material, lad. Fits in there quite nicely. If that had been a bigger section, I would have machined a dovetail in like that. I've done with that big tool, and that goes straight onto the tool post. That's really rigid. So, big tools, you pick them up really cheap because nobody wants them. They're all one sort of MIFAD size stuff. 10 mil square. I'll use anything. In the bigger industrial stuff is normally better quality. Right, I need to put it on the centre height now. This is the tip it came with. And all six corners of that, all six corners are being used. It's new one. Make sure it's all nice and clean in there, which this is. There is a check nut on there which will be nipped up once the tool is dead on centre height. It's not bad for centre height. And I drill once changing its blunt. Trying his best to snap up on the hole, that's what they do, that's what they're good at. Not this time, look. So, do I do, I do all of these? Or do I leave one out? I think you do them all. Because it only says four and then four. But I can't imagine we're not doing them all. 
This is the Honda crankcase I repaired about a week ago. I've got the broken stud out of there, so that's height is the height it's meant to be. And this lug was missing, and I built it up, but I didn't know how high it was supposed to be. So the lad's been and bought a, a chain guard for it, so I can work out where the hole goes. That goes into there. So that's original hole, original height. And if you look at it, you can see how oh, that's too short. No, I'm not going to weld that up anymore. I'm just going to put a, make a spacer for it. So the lad called in with it and I got him to put it where he wanted it, which was there, and then tap the transfer punch so I have got a, a place to put the, the drill and tap the hole so it doesn't fit, it's his fault. It's right in the middle of the boss will weld it up, so we'll get that done now. And then make a little... He was going to put washers under there, but I'll make a little spacer for it and do the job properly. I've got a cheap remounted, now we need to pick up that hole. I'll bring the camera in a little bit. Don't be tempted to use your fingers to do that. It'll end up in tears as you can well imagine. Right, that's absolutely spot on in it. The centre of that punch mark. Um, six by one. It's a five mil top and drill. Longer bolt for there. Spot on. Right, we'll tighten this one up, make all that depth and make a spacer for it. Basically, 8 mil and an aluminium ball. Make a little space out at the end of that. Let's warm the rear up a little bit. I just want to make sure these tighten in alright, that's all, before I give them it back. Spot on. So that was a broken stud, a well built up, there was a hole in there, and we built all that corner up and refreshed that.
once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget, I also have a Patreon channel. Have a look on there. You get to see a bit more of me. A little bit more swearing. And there's no adverts at all. Also, a massive thanks for the well which has been coming in. Um, I do keep banging on about mental health. And I'm going to keep on banging on about mental health because I keep getting emails from lads and letters from lads saying, Lady John, I've been listening to what you said and I've been and I've got some help and things are improving. So by me mentioning this, if I can help one person, it's made it all worthwhile because it's not easy to sit here and talk about things like that because blokes just don't talk about it. Anyway, all I can say is thanks for watching.